Yeah, there's no way I could take that little ding noise out, but ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the fifth generation Cadillac Escalade. This is the 2021, and this happens to be the platinum package, which means it's basically fully loaded with all the bells and whistles. There also is a sport version of this, but I've been daily driving this thing for one whole week now, and oh my goodness, this thing is jam packed with a bunch of interesting hardware. A lot of tech features from night vision to Cadillac Super Cruise, which is basically Cadillac answer to what Tesla's have with their autopilot. This has a very similar feature where the vehicle itself will be able to lane change on its own on most compatible highways. So if you're in a market for one or you probably already own one, here's basically all the interesting hidden features and cool stuff that the brand new Cadillac Escalate has to offer. Let's get started. Hey. Where should we begin? So this Escalade is equipped with the V8, which puts out 420 horsepower. There is said that a six cylinder diesel turbo is coming out in the near future for the best MPG. But this one on average, well, these are the numbers. Now, the first thing I like about this Escalade is not only are the two displays or three displays right here are actually OLED, but even the passenger entertainment systems in the rear seats are also OLED. But not only that, when you get in the vehicle for the first time, it plays like this epic animation, really utilizing the OLED technology. And to be honest, I believe this is the only vehicle, well, to my knowledge, that has OLED displays. Now, when approaching the car, in a parking lot or whatever. Both the front and the rear also have a unique animation as well. As the headlights will do this cool little dance as you get closer to the car, and the tail lights, well, they do this. And that just looks absolutely amazing. And another cool thing about this Escalade is that it actually has underglows. From the side, it illuminates the side steps. So as soon as you open up the door, you can see your steps, as the side steps are automatic. Other unique lighting aspect of things is that the Cadillac logo is displayed right here on the dash, and in the rear, there also is a projector Cadillac emblem that's projected down to the floor. Now, it's not perfectly center, and that is because this is where the sensor is for you to open up your tailgate by simply placing your foot underneath the projector light this is where it, the tailgate will sense you want it to open. It will automatically open like that. But a unique Easter egg, well, I'll consider this to be an Easter egg, is the Cadillac emblem in the rear is also a button that you could press to automatically open up the tailgate. In addition to that, this is a two-piece tailgate, which means you don't have to open up the entire backside. This little window over here also opens up. So if you're just loading minor dinks, you can literally just use the window, the glass, or take stuff out of the cargo area. Now this Escalate does have a heads up display, which gives you a lot of useful information. Everything from navigation to the speed, to the speed limit on the streets, as well as the sign that's playing. And it's fully customizable. If you could go into the settings, as you see right here, you have the ability to change the information that you want it to display, as well as adjust the height, brightness, and etc. It's fully customizable. Now on the side right here, this section, this is where you can find all the settings for the instrument cluster, as well as switch between AR or night vision. And I gotta say, the AR experience is extremely useful. It uses Google Maps. And whenever you set a destination, arrows will actually float up in the middle of the screen. And it honestly just play, it feels like I'm playing like Need for Speed or something like that. As arrows literally float up right there. And will also sh show you the lanes to change on the heads up display as well. Super convenient. Other interesting thing that I like a lot about the Escalade is that you can actually see the seats of this vehicle. So you know if one of your passengers took off their, has their seatbelt on or not. Now, if you may have noticed this headrest, yeah, the grill right here, these are actually speakers. As fun fact, this Escalade actually has 36 speakers and they're by AKG. And man, the sound system sounds phenomenal and it's fully customizable as well. In addition to that, you know how sometimes you, you have rear passengers in the very far back side of the seats? Well, this Escalade actually has intercom mode which when you enable this, if you do happen to have passengers on the far back side of the seats, this little grill part right here actually is a microphone and a speaker. And this allows your passenger to hear you from the far back of the seat and vice versa. So you can literally have your conversations while you're on the road and it will literally sound like your passengers literally right next to you. It actually works really well. Now, just like some latest GM vehicles, the rear view mirror is a flip to a digital screen rear view mirror as this allows you to actually utilize the camera that's out of the exterior of the vehicle 
and be used as a rear view camera. The benefit of this is, let's say for example, you have a lot of passengers in the back or something that's blocking your line of sight with the standard rear mirror. You could toggle this on so you can actually see exactly what's behind the vehicle and it just looks absolutely futuristic. And you also have settings right down here that allows you to zoom it in, change the brightness, as well as position the angle. Now the center console on this Escalate actually does have, get this, this is a, not just a freezer, but also a refrigerator. You could toggle between refrigerator or freezer mode by pressing this button. And as you can see, it's actually pretty deep. I already had like a couple of my energy drinks and stuff in here and it did a fantastic job in keeping everything cool. So if you want to, you could always tell your chauffeur to put some champagne bottles or something in here for you. And of course, just like some of the latest vehicles from GM, this little section does support wireless e charging. You can literally just rest your phone right here and it'll wirelessly charge your phone. Which fun fact, this thing actually has wireless Apple CarPlay support and Android Auto. Now the rear seats, they actually have these adjustable OLED displays. And from my understanding, these are the largest displays available on any newly manufactured SUV or car in general. There are HDMI ports down here, USB-C ports down here so your passenger can charge their devices. And fun fact, you actually have a household outlet so you can literally plug in a gaming console have it plugged into the HDMI port back there and your passengers, your rear passengers are able to game just fine. And a cool thing about the displays in the back, they're smart displays, which means you have access, if you're chauffeuring a friend or something, they can also input the address as it'll actually give you search results for nearby destinations, which you could request the driver to either accept or deny. So you're, in other words, your rear passengers could import the address you want to drive to and we'll send it to the main display right here on the driver's side. Now at night, the interior of this car is phenomenal. It looks so futuristic. It's just, it's awesome. As it has ambient lights right here that are RGB, which means it could be fully customizable to whatever color that is available to select from. You can have it either to be adapted by the mode of the vehicle, if you put it in sport mode, or you can just let it cycle automatically or you can set a fixed one. So it's all personal preference. Now, unlike other vehicles, you know, when you put it in reverse, the sonar sensors, uh, usually it beeps inside the cabinet of the vehicle. Cadillac, GM in general, actually, they've been integrating haptic feedback on the bottom part of the seat. So if you get too close to the wall as you're backing up or parking, the seats will begin vibrating and they tend to increase the closer you get. Other interesting hardware that's found on the driver and passenger side front seats is both of these seats are massaged. There's a little knob right here, a circular knob. Here, you can actually rotate and go between these different modes that you see on the screen and you can select which type of massage experience you want and you can go from level one to three or you can have to turn off general. And then on top of here, this little chrome bit, if you rotate this, this actually allows you to adjust the lumbar, not just on the sides, upper part of the seat. So you can really personalize this to your body type. Now I did mention this does have Cadillac Super Cruise, which the way this works is whenever you enabled cruise control, as long as you're in a supported highway, which means it's a highway that GM have previously scanned and made it compatible, as time progress, I'm sure this will become more available. But since we live here in the Bay Area in California, all these highways are good to go. And to activate this, simply just toggle cruise control and there's a little steering wheel icon right here with the lines. Click on this, the steering wheel will begin flashing blue as it's gonna try to adjust and recenter itself and will turn into a solid green color. When it's solid green, the vehicle is in control. At this point, you could either use this turn signal to allow it to automatically switch lanes. And from my experience, it does a fantastic job in doing so. It does it so confidently that the vehicle itself will know if it needs to accelerate or decelerate to make a safe lane change. And if a vehicle cuts you off, the Cadillac is smart enough to know how to handle that situation. And from my overall experience, it does a really good job. Like I have a lot of confidence in this and I'm sure it's gonna get better over time. But this little thing right here, that is a camera actually tracks your eyeball. So in other words, the vehicle itself will know if you are becoming distracted by looking at your phone or talking to your passenger, that this little LED will go from a green to a blinking green to get your attention and let you know you gotta focus on the road again or else if you continue doing that, this little LED will turn red and begin flashing haptic feedback on your seats as it's gonna automatically disengage 
Cadillac Super Cruise. And if you still fail to grab the steering wheel, the Cadillac will slow itself down and will yell at you and will sound like a mother. But yeah, this feature alone is incredible and I'm actually still mind blown how well it works. Because I have driven Teslas, but Teslas require you to have your hand on the steering wheel. Well, with Cadillac, you just have to have your eyeballs looking at the road. So you can literally drive like this for 30 minutes without touching the steering wheel, as long as you're making eye contact to the road still. Now this Cadillac does have a hotspot, which you can actually quickly access by simply tapping on the LTE icon right there. You'll see your Wi-Fi information and everything right there. So your passengers could quickly connect. Now there's two ways to quickly access the 360 camera. The fastest way is you could just simply just put the vehicle in reverse and quickly switch to park. If you're trying to parallel park, this will give you access to this field of view or you can actually go into the settings on the screen, switch right here, and tap on cameras. These are the two ways to quickly have access to the 360 camera, which the 360 camera on this thing is absolutely incredible. There's so many different field of views to choose from. You can switch between normal angles, wide angles, but my favorite one is this one, as this one will actually play like a animated screen of the car itself with live footage of everything that's going around. It still is very interesting that something like this exists nowadays, where you can literally see somebody across the opposite side of the vehicle without you having to actually like turn your head. And it's also trippy to have whenever you're driving at low speeds in the parking lot, viewing it from this point of view. Now this Escalade does have airbag suspensions, which means you could raise the vehicle or lower it and it looks like this. And the ground clearance is actually really impressive for a luxury SUV. Every time when you leave the vehicle in park, it's at its lowest setting, so it's easy for you to get in and out. Now there are some pre-installed applications already on this thing, which you can actually delete just like any ordinary device. So it's not strict like your smartphone. You can delete some of these third-party apps if you don't like them. And then driving, and then the headlights on this thing are extremely bright. I have no complaint with the uh, visibility at night and these do support auto high beams. Another cool thing I like so much about this Escalade is when driving at night, remember I mentioned the night vision mode? Well, it actually has some AI technology into it as it's able to identify people and animals and will put like a square around them so you could quickly identify them and will obviously turn red if the uh, organism is getting too close to the vehicle like deers and such. And of course, just like any ordinary car, if your key fob is dead, you can always just remove the handguard, removing this to have access to the valet key, removing the little cover on the door handle, and just place the dead key fob in the front cup holder, and it'll use NFC to turn on the vehicle. So yeah, Cadillac really thought of everything. Another cool thing I like a lot about this thing is that the panomatic, the dual moonroof over here looks absolutely amazing. I also like the top part of the vehicle as it does have like a sway-like texture like Alcantara and smells really pleasant. And if you're wondering if the entire window can open up, unfortunately not. It's only the driver and passenger side, this section that you could actually re retract all the way back. Now the back seat, there's a bunch of awesome anemones as well. You have climate controls right here for your rear passengers. Each television, as I mentioned, is right here. There's wireless, two wireless headsets back here. And this room space, the headspace, and the room back here is absolutely insane. And cool thing is, both the front and the rear doors actually have door locks. So you could unlock the vehicle from even the back seats. Something that I wish more automakers would integrate. They also got cup holders right here, which fold out if needed. They can store away like so. Again, captain seats, which means they have armrests you can just bring down. And if we go all the way in the far back, ah, cargo space is absolutely amazing, but even the rear rear passengers have their own cup holders and USB-C ports right here on both sides so they could also charge their devices. All in all, that is basically all the cool bells and whistles that the new fifth generation 2021 Cadillac Escalade has to offer. It still blows my mind that a vehicle of this size can still do 0 to 60 under six seconds. As it's reported, this thing could do 0 to 60 in 5.9. That is the quickest acceleration time that is recorded currently. It could definitely haul if needed there you guys have it hope you enjoyed if you got some good useful information on this video greatly appreciate if you can actually leave this video a like those help me out a lot also get subscribed especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos not just tech products itself we also sometimes cover vehicles like this new escalate if you'd like to see more 
go ahead and check out the previous car video we made, which you can go ahead and watch right over here. And the video right next to that one, that's just the video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.